How are you doing people? Robert here, aka Rob S, Anti-Corruption Scotland. I'm going to do a video, something entirely different from what I normally do. It will see if you people pick up on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And maybe you'll understand what's happening with your life once this video's finished. Right? This here is the extract of the birth certificate that was created and registered with my mother and father known as informants. This is the Crown Copyright document. Crown Copyright owned by the entity, corporation known as Crown. Now on this document, the name Robert Sproul is on it, right? It says on this document, the person or persons cannot use it for identification, it's a record of an event, right? So the question that has to be asked is if it cannot be used by the man or woman or the individual for identification. That means the man or woman on this bit of paper doesn't exist because everything's in a box and anything in a box does not exist, right? So this here is Robert Sproul and I'm Robert Sproul. So what I'm going to do people it's going to be quite funny. People are going to find this funny, but it's deadly serious, right? It's not funny, right? As I'm going to show you the distinction between that Robert Sproul and this Robert Sproul, right? Now, this Robert Sproul here that's speaking is alive and well and has life. This Robert Sproul here cannot speak, right? And I'm going to prove the point. Are you Robert Sproul? Again, are you Robert Sproul? See people, it doesn't answer. This is the person. Person only exists in paper, right? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prove a bigger point, right? Did you hear that? Did you hear anything? The reason you did not hear it is because the person only exists in paper, it has no life, it's dead. So it can't yelp, moan or shout and this is the difference between the understanding of the person and a living man or woman. A living man has life, can speak, can feel pain, can see, can hear, can go to the toilet. A piece of paper can't do none of that, right? The other thing as well, if you're not convinced of what I've just did, get your government passport Get your government DBLA driving license. Look at the photograph on the passport or the driving license and ask it a question. If it does not answer, it cannot be yourself. It's an image. An image has no life. And that's where the trickery and the deception is. Example, when you get pulled and the police say, do you have your driving license on you? Right? When you show that, they're not interacting with the man, they're interacting with the entity, the fiction on the card and deceiving the people. Words and conduct to deceive, to get joined up and hold you surety and libel for everything that they have in policies, rules, regulations, statutes and acts. Now, this here is a receipt that came from the Scotland People website gov.uk it came with the certificate extract right and it tells you clearly on this search extract statutory births entity ID and it gives you a number the surname Sproul and the old capital name forename Robert and the old capital name the year the gender male and a big reference number as well right now Entity. What is an entity, people? If you look up the definition, you'll see that entity is a distinctive, independent existence. Right? It's telling you there on the receipt for the Scotland People website that you have an entity ID. So that means the extract of the birth certificate that has the entity ID isn't a man or woman. 
And that's why these people can never interact with a man or woman because you're always seen as a person, non-existent and have legal rights you don't have lawful, inalienable and inherent rights. Now I hope these people are getting this. I know that this video might be a bit strange but it's a fact, it's true and I proved the point and I'm hoping that the point I've just did and showed helps the people understand how this is working. Everything in this legal system is a corporation, people, right? We don't have a contract with us. We don't have a contract anywhere with any man or woman in this system. It's all fraud, deception, corruption, and identity theft. And that's a fact. And the mere fact that the name is crown copyrighted without full disclosure, terms, conditions, and uh, contract, that means that that, as far as I'm concerned, on my entity ID or this registered birth certificate is null and void. I'm initial from the start. It is based in fraud. And anything based in fraud at the start is done. And that's a fact. The system is trying to destroy every man, woman, son and daughter's lives. And that's just an example how the fraud started. From the day that you came into this world. And when you came into this world, people, you came into this world free. We didn't understand where we were. We did not understand what was going on or who was running about us. We didn't have that ability. So how can we accept something that we did not consent to? We've been indoctrinated with paper, a birth certificate, to believe that we were a person. I thought I was a person, but I'm wide awake now, people, and I'm hoping that this video here helps you wait, wait awake as well, right? Please, people, have faith in what I tell you. Have trust in what I tell you. I take this deadly serious, and it is deadly serious for what's coming. And if the people don't start coming together, standing together and fighting back, we will not have a life. You'll be treated as a person, a thing, a product, right? And that's a fact. They'll control you and tell you what you like, where you go, and how you'll spend your hard-earned money. We cannot allow this digital currency, digital ID, and all the rest of the stuff. Smart cities. Right, people? It has to stop and it has to stop now. Please share this video far and wide. I hope you get the concept of what I've just done. I hope you understand what I've just done and what I've just shown. As I said, people might not understand that and find this funny, but it isn't funny, it's realistic people. It's the same as when you get into these court buildings. You cannot be heard, seen, right? They don't hear you, don't see you and don't recognize you. And that's a fact and I've proved that time and time again. Anyway, people, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get the understanding of what I've just did. Please share this video far and wide and get this message out there. As I said, if you're not convinced with what I've just did, ask your driving licence that was given to you by the corporation or your government passport a question. Look at the photo and ask it a question. If it does not answer, that means there is no life. That's how you get held surety and libel and everything you follow in all capital letters. Black ink, you're dead, right? And that's a fact. Please, people, pay attention. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. And thank you for giving me time to be heard. And I would like to thank everybody who's recently subscribed and shared the videos. It's very much appreciated, people. I just want to get the message out there. Educate people of what's going on. Um, thank you again for watching. Please share the video. Bye-bye people, take care, be safe.